Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. On today's episode, I'm giving away 20 varieties of pepper seeds as a special thank you to all my 200 subscribers. Well, actually, it's more than 200 now. Um, <clears throat> and you have to excuse me because I have a little bit of allergies going on. But anyway, I wanted to thank you all. I never thought I would get to 200. So on today's video, I'm going to be giving away those seeds but also I'm showing you an update of my garden because I really haven't done that this year other than with my pepper germination video um, and then of the little experiments in between. The pepper update is gonna give you a glimpse into what you might be able to win and uh, the various germination rates. I try to talk about each of the peppers individually and their, uh, the germination rates. You have a sense if you win the seeds what to expect when germinating. Let's go take a look at the peppers and then I'll get back to you on the rules on how to win the 20 varieties of seeds. It is April 4th and here we are in the office and it's being overrun by all my peppers. So I just wanted to show you my little setup. I had to take the tray out of the bottom of my uh, grow frame because these plants are just getting way too big and I needed to spread them out a little bit to make some room. So. I got them on the floor, but that's okay because I'm using some really nice grow lights that uh, give them ample light. So now we go up top, and I got some of the smaller guys still, the ones that are struggling a little bit. Let's go through the peppers one by one, and uh, I'll go pretty quick, but I just want to show you how each pepper is doing individually. All right, by far the tallest plants that I have growing right now are my cayenne pepper plants. I prune these using the thin method and they're still just growing so tall. That's because they're part of the anum species or the uh, uh, annuum species as some people like to refer to it as. These took 10 days to germinate and I transplanted them into the solo cups on February 10th. All right, next up are my ghost pepper plants. <laughs> you can see this is the one I did an experiment with and I stripped off all the leaves after fimming it. And then this is a clear difference. I fimmed this one. Um, it's got a lot going on under the hood. Those side shoots will come out afterwards. Uh, you can see them there. But it's just really bushing out up top like a huge canopy. Uh, the ghost took about took 12 days to germinate. And uh, for contrast again, this is the scotch brain plant and then this is the plant that I uh, I did in my other video to show you the difference about leaving your leaves on your plant after you prune them. Um, so these guys are scotch brains. They took about two weeks, 14 days to germinate. These two are my Kangstar Lemon Starburst plants. And uh, I thinned these guys back and they're really bushing out. And this is my, uh, my contest plant. I, I dubbed this straight from the beginning and uh, this one was the fastest pepper to germinate out of any of the plants at five days only. These two are the, the Purple Reaper I got from J James Dunlop from the Pepper Lovers community. Um, this one I transplanted on February 11th into the, the Solo Cup and this one was uh, February 10th because this guy was a little laggy, laggy behind and this one was uh, ready to transplant. That's why you can see a little bit of the difference in, in the size. First one that germinated was 14 days. These two are my Bahamian goats. They took eight days to germinate and similar to the cayenne peppers these are capsaicin annums or annuums and they are jalapenos <laughs> they are growing kind of wonky favoring one side um, and they're growing pretty tall um, but that's just the way this particular species grows the chinense like all the other bushy ones that you're seeing that I'm showing you kind of bush out more um, than these annuums so these are one of my favorite plants, so I can't wait to get them outside and they'll uh, start to bush out more. And if, and if not, of course, uh, with my, most of my annuums, I'll stake them pretty well. These jalapenos took 10 days to germinate. These are probably some of the best looking peppers that I have in my, in my uh, grow space right now. And they're my chocolate habaneros. Um, these guys grew like trees last year. They took 11 days to germinate. Uh, I never really had any good luck with uh, chocolate habaneros in the past, but uh, I guess I saved some really good seeds because these are just growing phenomenally. And uh, I had to move these closer to the camera because these are my shishitos. They took 10 days to germinate. I said the chocolate habanero was the best looking pepper in my garden, but uh, the capsaicin annums, which or annuums like the shishitos are, 
they grow they grow rather tall so I mean this one is just bushing out everywhere and it's still tall I mean it's tall and bushy at the same time just the leaves are a little bit smaller so this is exactly what I like to see in my annuums <clears throat> um, and then this little guy is catching up but I've, I've mentioned this before these shishitos they produce a ton of pods I harvested I don't know six times from them all right next up are my borgnine chocolates they took 16 days to germinate I almost gave up on these but they are doing just great um, I haven't grown this variety before but I am excited because they're supposed to be super hot and uh, I love super hot peppers and my all-time favorite pepper the orange habanero these guys are doing equally as fine um, and they are just pushing out just like their uh, cousins the chocolate habanero um, slightly smaller leafed they grew a little bit smaller than that plant but they produced a ton. The orange habaneros took 10 days to germinate. I'm excited for the tangerine dreams. That's what these, these two are. They took exactly seven days to germinate and compared to last year, they were doing a lot better. They were budding up and they were really, really small inside and they struggled a lot, but they are bushing out a lot. They're also capsaicin annuums and uh, I've been pinching the buds off so they're, they're bushing out a little bit more. And I think that's a mistake I did not do last year. All right, what kind of super hot pepper grower would I be without the Carolina Reaper? The king of kings when it comes to the pepper world. I'm sure there are hotter peppers now with all these people crossing peppers, but this is the hottest pepper currently recorded by the Guinness Book of World Records. And these plants are doing great. All right, and supposedly hotter than the Carolina Reaper, I got these from Rob Blumberg on the Pepper Lovers community. These are the uh, Chocolate Bootla DMs. Uh, they were crossed by, I can't remember the name, but the initials DM, whoever you are, thank you, because these are supposed to be hotter than the Carol uh, Carolina Reaper. So we'll see. And I'm really happy with the way these are growing. They're kind of bushing out and to two little nodes here for both of them. And they're just going to explode and produce a ton of flowers now. Took nine days to germinate. Okay, so the reason this Sugar Rush Peach is in a little mini crack key method is because I was going on vacation for a couple weeks and I was trying to do an experiment. Long story short, I cut the uh, bottom of the solo cup to try to expose the roots and do this whole apparatus thing that failed miserably. So I ended up putting this one into a crack key method and it is just doing fine. Um, it's got a nice little root system in there. Um, not as big as the one in soil because um, you know, when you transfer it into crack key, you kind of shock it a little bit. So, first time growing these, I'm really excited. It's a fan favorite from everybody at the PLC. They took only five days to germinate, just like uh, the Lemon Starburst. And every year I seem to have mislabeled or, or something. Uh, this is an unknown pepper. I was growing Tangerine Dreams, and I swore, I took a picture of the seed cell, and it only had four seeds, but this was the fifth seed, and it had a different color stem than the other tan than the Tangerine Dreams. So I have no clue what this is. I don't know how the seed got in there, but I can't wait for this one to grow out and, we, uh, and we'll see what we get. And this is another lemon starburst that I keep in the cup because I water it from the bottom. Um, it's my uh, Kangstar lemon starburst pepper in a can competition contestant. And uh, I'm only growing one this year because uh, I'm just doing it for fun. And I started a Sugar Rush Peach and a Purple Reaper in mini crack key setups. Uh, because I want to do a cross and my wife helps me pick the peppers and I explained to her which ones were which and the heat levels and colors and everything and we came up with this and we think we're going to create a pretty cool cross between these two and this little guy I started in rock wool it's a prick kino pepper uh, I actually got this from Marcel from the pepper lovers community he got it uh, when he visited Thailand I'm going to put this one in a solo cup this weekend to get rid of that legginess and help it help it grow better and uh, if you've been following along on my channel I had a successful pepper cross and I've been growing these peppers out and this is what they look like now um, they got some cool little every one of them has cool little stingers on them and uh, they're growing kinda smaller than I wanted and these are the F1's let me see I got one over here let's see oh all these leaves are in my way there it is, hanging down back there. It's almost like a, a sphere. And then I have another one right there. But I got a ton of I got a ton of flowers on this plant that you can't really see. Well, I guess you can right there. But uh, just waiting for these to get ripe. Uh, they're gonna ripen into a red color, I believe. 
And once that happens, I'm going to harvest the seeds, um, mix a bunch up together so I don't know where they came from or whatever, and uh, grow out uh, two to four new plants uh, to see what traits carry over into the F2 generation. These are F1, that's why they all look the same. The F2, you could have a completely different pepper on each pepper plant that you grow out until you stabilize uh, the string. So until I get what I want, um, I'm going to keep growing these out. It was a good experience so far, so um, we'll see. I'll probably do a, a pepper taste on one of these guys right here once they turn red. Uh, hopefully they get bigger, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the update on my peppers, and uh, I hope you're excited and you want to join this contest. So, for the reason you're probably all here, <laughs> I'll get to it. Here are the seeds. Uh, can you read that? Yeah. So, I have 20 packets of seeds in here, and uh, let me read them off to you real quick. You can follow along the scrolling text as it goes. So, we have a jalapeno, tangerine greens, orange habanero, chocolate habanero, cayenne, shishito, ahi lemon, ahi cito, tang star scarlet rose, tang star lemon starburst, tang star peach star kiss, purple reaper, red long tie, four nine chocolate, scotch bonnet, fruitorama, bohemian goat, chipotino white, chocolate bootlet DM, sugar rush peach, and the scotch bonnet. So you've seen most of these in my video, but some of these I got from Sea Trades. I have limited space on my balcony, so I wasn't able to grow all of my the varieties that I that I have. So I'm giving away a couple. So basically, the way this is going to work, it's not just a typical giveaway where you leave a comment and I use a comment generator and pick the winner. It's going to be based on um, a few things, a few factors, and the more factors you participate in the more chances you have at winning the seeds. There are four rules, and if you follow the four rules, you get four entries. If you follow one rule, you get one entry. Two rules, two entries. Three rules, three entries. But you can only have a max of four entries. So the more rules you follow, the more chance of you winning this competition. So, the first rule is subscribe to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, don't worry, you're taken care of. And if you're on a computer, subscribing is super easy. When uh, you see my logo pop up right there, you can click it and it'll subscribe you right to my channel. So just hitting that logo will get you a drawing into the contest. The second rule is leave a comment telling you which of the peppers that I'm giving away is your favorite. The third rule is leave a comment with a question related to peppers or gardening for me. It could be any question related to peppers or gardening. The fourth rule is a little bit more involved. You have to share this link on one of your social media platforms and then send me a link to your social media platform where you shared it or send me a screenshot to farmergeorgespeppers at gmail.com and I'll have all this information in the description of this video so don't worry about uh, thinking about that and writing it down so and then a bonus it's not going to get you anything because I can't really tell but please like the video because it does help promote my video across uh, across YouTube. So you have a week to do this. The giveaway is gonna close on April 12th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time US. And then I'll release a video with the winner sometime during the next week after I can compile everybody's entries. So everybody, thank you so much for joining and thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for letting me hit the 200 mark, it's amazing. I'm really having fun with this and you can expect a lot more content now that the weather's warming up. Let's see how far we can go, maybe we can get a thousand subscribers. <laughs> We'll see. But anyway, I'm Farmer George. Let's share and grow together. See you next time.